Hey guys, it's Dan here with part 11 of the Thor build and today we're making the pants. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit different than the rest because of con crunch that I had for the past couple weekends while I was making these. So the video isn't going to be showing me doing quite as much because I didn't have as much time as I was hoping. I did get the pants done and I'm, I did get to wear them to both conventions. I'll show some photos at the end, but let's get into making these bad boys. And one thing to note, when I was making the patterns for these, I might have lost the footage, so uh, let's just skip to the part where I already have the patterns made. Oh, and real quick, before we start, I want to say thank you to all the people and all the fans and all the people that I met at both the conventions that I went to. I actually met a few people that followed my tutorials, and one of them really likes my music, so let's get going with that. So I cut it out and I took a ruler and did with the red sharpie, uh, made all the lines straight and parallel to each other. So I'm going to make sure that these registration marks don't get erased and make sure they stay up. And we are going to cut this out and then cut off different panels and all that stuff. So like this kneecap is going to be different cloth, so that's cut out. That's going to be cloth behind it, so that's cut out with stripes in it. Same with this panel. So we're going to cut those out, and then we're going to just like continually cut off different pieces and like put a pin line on the actual leather, and then put a stitch with the sewing machine. So oh, and then cut off the next panel. Oh, you understand? Okay, so I took the patterns, cut out the panels that are going in there. And if you look closely, I drew these lines for where they go on both these panels. And they're two millimeters apart, so it fits in that there's 11 lines. So a one millimeter gap on each end, and then every line makes it so that two millimeters fits in 11 lines. One, two, three, four, five, and two millimeters between that one millimeter gap on top and bottom also for how many that needs. If you can look closely, you can see that I have black dotted line that's where I'm sewing so I'm sewing this panel into here I'm sewing this panel into the back of this smallest thing and I'm sewing this panel into the back of this and this panel is going to be sewn into the back of this and these things are gonna be sewn into that we are also going to have a folded seam like it looks like a pocket type thing on this so this is going to be folded over and stitched on this line and this line all the other lines are going to be just stitched with a sewing machine also we're going to cut with a seam allowance all the way around so we can fold stuff under and sew it to itself or glue it or anything like that so let's cut all these out so when you're cutting out these pieces make sure like on this one you give the seam allowance for the inside cuts because on this one I cut the hexagon straight to the lines that I drew that means I'm gonna have to recut this entire piece so it's a pretty big waste of material so make sure you follow with seam allowance without cutting straight to the lines so you can fold stuff for sewing so if you go back and watch the gauntlet video you will see that we have a piece of cloth that has lines going across it the uh, lighting is bad in this room, but we have the kneecap, which is going to be using the, the same cloth. So we're going to use the same source, the same cloth that we use for the gauntlets that has the lines going across. So remember that. Now we've taken a border piece, which is a half inch in and a quarter inch seam all the way around. So it looks even because the actual pants, the other parts going to layer a quarter inch away from the middle of this seam also. So it's going to be quarter inch, quarter inch, but half inch for each fabric showing. So once you stitch all the way around to secure the panel in, you also do these stitch lines where you follow this line across and this line across. And then you do this secondary stitch line. And then we're going to attach it to the thing just like this. So we do a regular stitch by folding those edges over. Okay, so once you have all the panels sewn together, 
we're going to now trace out all the lines. I used a see-through ruler to do all this so that way we can get all the lines parallel and all that stuff. So we're going to just trace it from our patterns and now we're going to stitch over them. Okay, so now that you have all the lines stitched in, we're going to take this seam which goes where the crotch is obviously and we're going to stitch it together because it is the same and it's going to allow it for it to go straight down and on Thor's pants on the toy it shows that there's a, a little zipper thing that's sewn in there we might even add that in there but we might not it doesn't really matter I'm not sure if it's on the actual one or not we'll see if I add that now that we got this sewn up we are going to go to this part and we're going to cut this little slice and fold this and sew so it looks sort of like one of these things where it goes floppy floppy and we're going to do that on both sides and then everything else that we're going to try to pin it to the pants and sew across the top and then pin on the sides and then stitch on there too. So we got these done and it was fun making them. But as you can tell at the beginning, I had some panel on the back that I designed. I didn't put it on these because these cloth stretches and the leather doesn't stretch. I didn't want to accidentally sew something that would make it so my leg wouldn't fit. And also on the actual real version of Thor's pants, you can see on the very back, there's like five or six stitching lines on the back behind the knee. I didn't add that either because with the cape going, you couldn't really see them and well I just didn't have enough time to do that so if you really want to you can look up and try to find where the lines go on the back behind the knee and put that panel back there also on the back of the leg so other than that you can find the patterns that I was going to make on my patreon I'm going to have it just be a photo of this because people's pants are always different sizes I'm gonna have like rulers next to it so you can see how big everything is but it's going to be a free thing, so you're not going to have to pay to see it. It's just going to be available to the public to see the photo. And that's about it. So if you make these pants or anything else, feel free to leave a comment. Tell me how you made them differently or how you made them the same. And you can also check out some of my other stuff where I have Patreon helping me support all this. So I got people like this. They help with paying for all this stuff and they get benefits for doing it. So they get to either see videos early, comment on them. They get to see live updates and files like this stuff where I get all the files posted, but they also get other files where if I design something, they can get access to that and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check it out. You can also see some videos that I post here and here, and those might be something where I'm doing some other making and I might also be doing parkour on those and you can like and subscribe. And you can also check out my Patreon right there. We'll see you in the next video. Awkward crotch shot done.